It's a situation that has continued to give Nigerians sleepless nights. It's therefore no surprise that the issue of terrorism topped the agenda at the Golden Jubilee Lecture of the Jamatu Nazri Islam, where the Sultan of Sokoto, His Eminence, Sa'ad Abubakar III, said this is not a time to point accusing fingers, but a time for all religious bodies to join hands to tackle the problem. So last year, as God Almighty blessed us, stay together as we had been. The most present problem facing us in this country is that of insecurity. Every blessed day, you hear hundreds or tens of people being killed everywhere, most especially in the northeast part of the country. It's a very troubling thing on our minds, and we will not stop talking about it until something is done that will bring to an end that nightmare which gradually is spreading to other parts of the country in form of cattle rustling by insurgents. The presidency has been accused by many of not doing much to curtail the present situation which has left scores of people dead and properties worth millions of naira destroyed since it started. But the Vice President Namadi Sambu is quick to state what the government is doing to address the problems. Let me further assure you that government will see to the end of this alien, criminal and barbaric act so that life will return to normalcy. We are mindful of the need to act within the universal acceptable standard code of behavior. Also, we are making efforts to ensure harmonious coexistence between farmers and nomadic pastoralists. We have strategized on how to curb the constant clashes between these two groups and are making efforts to address issues of grazing routes and grazing reserves for pastoralists to avoid further conflicts between the door. With the latest attack in Nyanya area of the Federal Capital Territory, the federal government sure needs to do more than they are doing at the moment to bring this ugly situation under control. Ogechiko also reporting for Channels Television News.